Hoy mga kababayan, kumusta na ho kayo? Ako po si Eli Saludar, secretary. Kumusta ka na? Magandang hapon po, ha, Eli? Magandang And, hapon ado. Magandang And, hapon po sa ating mga kababayan diyan. And good afternoon to all of you. Salamat po sa pagtanggilit niyo sa amin. Eli. Okay, at uh, alam niyo, eh, may issue sa Davao Secretary Jing ha. Mukha nagtatampo yung mga taga Davao City. Okay. Tama po at uh, alam mo, ang Davao kasi ay naging free insurgent city na. Hmm. Ha? Pinaghirapan po ito ng mga leaders yan magmula pa ng panahon ni Mayor uh, Digong Duterte hmm. at ito sinundan ng kanyang uh, mabutihing anak na kasalukuya ay Vice President. Talagang sinikap nila. Kasi alam mo mga kababayan, ang Davao City ay bastion talaga ng communist uh, NDF Mm. CPP NPA cell yan. Ah, diyan ang ang grabe ang patayan diyan noon. Ah, kaya yung mga ibang mga Dabawenyo, nagporma sila ng mga alsamasa. Ah, mga ano, to fight the NPAs at the time at nung naging mayor si uh, PRRD at sinunda ni Sara talagang lahat ng resources ng government were really geared towards achieving peace and order in Davao. Kaya, it is very much an injustice to accuse the Duterte, especially during the time of Inday Sara, na nilustay nila yung pera na ginasto sa confidential or intelligence fund when there are no evidence that it went to their pockets. Totoo, nagastos nga yan, several hundreds of millions, but it went to the peace and order situation of Davao. That is why the military has awarded uh, uh, Davao City uh, a free insurgent uh, city uh, hmm. award. Hmm. So, yun po, I mean, it's, it, 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 it will cost the hundreds of millions to buy peace. Eh. Hmm. Di ba? Tama, talagang ngayon eh, siguro lahat ng mga kababayan natin eh, makapagpapatunay uh, na talagang naging mapayapa at saka bawin, maunlad, ha? maunlad at ng Davao bawin, City. Yung ah. ginastos man, kasi ito part ng, alam mo kasi ang pera ng Davao, Davao City, manggagaling yan sa IRA, Internal hmm. Revenue Allotment, manggagaling din yan sa negosyo ng Davao. Kasi yung uh, revenue from from mga businesses, kinukulek yan. Hmm. Ah? So, kung malaki ang negosyo dyan, malaki din ang papasok ng financial sa hmm. sa coffers ng gobyerno. At syempre, alam naman natin, Secretary Jean, no, Kado, na ang uh, pagunlad ng negosyo, depende yan sa estado ng kapayapaan. Estado ng kapayapaan. Hmm. So, hmm. nagiging very peaceful. And in fact, there were so many investors during the time of uh, Duterte as mayor during the time of Sara as uh, mayor and also during the time of the president as president of the republic no so nabawi lahat yung ginastos ito kasi hindi pinapaliwanag eh mm-hmm. ginagawa na lang ng propaganda ng mga kaliwa mm-hmm. pero alam naman natin itong mga kaliwa mayroong nagpapaikot niyan ah, mayroong nagsusuhol niyan mm-hmm. ah sinusuhulan niyan allegation ah, allegedly sinusuhulan niyan para i-denounce si Inday Sara because in the new government, it is only her that is advocating against uh, insurgency. In fact, there was a move, Eli, uh, ado, mayroong move na magkakaroon na naman ulit ng pisto and mukhang si Marcos ay more inclined pero naninindigan si Vice President na, uh-huh. no, we should not trust these people. Kaya binabalikan siya at nagamit ng mga politiko. Hmm. There are polit- politicians on top of our government who are now using this uh, leftist, this uh, kaliwe na mga politicians dyan na siraan ng siraan ang ating butihing vice president. And wag po tayo maniniwala dyan. Ito po, ito po, may isang statement tungkol dyan na they are dragging Davao City again hmm. ah, sa politika. Eh, hindi naman pwede kasi you ask every Davao they will tell you that they are very progressive. 
the economy is so good in Davao. Ha? So, walang corruption. Wala kasi sinasight na corruption na, okay, ginagastos yung pera, pero pag ginagastos mo, binubulsa mo dapat. Hmm. Oh. Pero kung walang binubulsa, nasaan yung allegations nyo na sinayang yung pera, di ba? Kung pumunta naman sa mga programa sa gobyerno. On top, so, of, on top hmm. of that, Secretary, ang nagbibit-bit sa ating ekonomiya ngayon ay Dabao Region. Mm, ha? Mm. Oh, dyan sa banana, dyan sa yeah. pineapple, durian. dyan sa durian. Uh, these are ha? all the big e uh, exports to yes. China. Oh, ha? Oh. Ha? Japan and everything. Ha? Nakinabang nga dyan si Dark Choco dahil yung kanyang pamilya ay nasa banana. Eh. Ha? Oh, di ba? Eh, panay ganun na lang ni Dark Choco kasi <laughs> pamilya eh, buhay na buhay dahil sa Duterte administration. Hmm. But anyway, Ito po, eh, pakita natin itong uh, komentari you know, ng isang Emil Vincent uh, S. Sijar. Uh, ano ba yung sinasabi ni Sijar? Oh. What's the big deal about the confidential fund of Inday Sara when she was mayor of Davao City from 2016 to 2022? Bulk of the fund comes from the taxes paid by the people of Davao and not from the national government. As our city gets... Uh, uh, pathetic pathetic share. share of revenues from the national budget despite contributing a big chunk on it. Much of our budget comes from local taxes and we do not even complain. But what has this trying to too hard to Why be... Why so hard to be controversial double city uh, oh. confidential fund really mean? First, the confidential fund uh, grew yeah. to the, uh, to bombing, to the of bombing of Ross night market. That confidential fund allow uh, the city to, to solve, solve the, crime. the crime and prevented future crimes. In fact, by 2022, Davao City has been declared as an insurgent-free insurg uh, in Davao. Uh, insurgency city. in Davao city, city is it just related to the, the communists being supported by the likes of Franz Castro, Castro and, and Risa Altebelos? Altebelos? We have different factions of Muslim extremists to, to worry, worry about, about too. too. Okay. Six years total Dabao Confidential Fund, 2.6 billion, becoming insurgency free, priceless. Apart from that, since Dabao Confidential Fund has allowed Indaisara to improve on our peace and order situation from 2016 to 2022, the business atmosphere has improved greatly too. Result Dabao City's economy by 2022 is worth over 400 billion pesos. That's in 2022 alone. Six years total Dabao Confidential Fund, 2.6 billion. Dabao Gross Domestic Product, 2022, over 400 million. Percentage of fund over 22, over 2022 GDP, 65%. Dabao Aggregate GDP, 2016-22, around 1 trillion pesos. Mm -hmm. So imagine the total investment of 2.6 billion Confidential Fund for peace and order Help generate over 400 billion for 2022 alone. This translates to just 65% expense over revenues made. If we add the six years, 2.6 billion help generate 1 trillion pesos. If that's not good management, I don't know what it is. And to take the local economy contracted for three years due to COVID, complain if you must about the DepEd's budget proposal. I couldn't care less. If you side with the leftist agenda of Castro and Taberos at the expense of the poor public students, then it's your call. Okay? So, mga kababayan, uh, a, 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 a columnist or a, a writer that is uh, very much uh, at home or very much uh, private to what's going on in Davao City, Eh, sinasabi po niya na ito mga dinadrag nila na ito daw yung mahilig daw sa confidential fund itong ating Inday Sara ay hindi po totoo. Talagang nalustay itong pera sa, sa magagandang uh, hangarin, magagandang programa at hindi ito uh, napunta sa corruption. Kasi I am challenging them to produce evidence to show na dinivert yung pera hmm. ha, sa, sa corruption and, and it went to the coffers of the Duterte. Sino bang, sino bang uh, uh, come and, ano, come, come and uh, walk in front and tell uh, the people na corrupt itong mga Duterte na ito? Eh, wala eh. So long as you have not produced any evidence 
that the money was spent and went into the pocket of the officials of Davao City, you have no business. Doon din sa 125 million. Sinasabi, it was spent in 19, uh, 19 days or 11 days? 11 days. Uh. Yeah, but what if <laughs> there is a limitation for expenditures of funds and mayroon ng programa na nakalaan doon? Hmm. Hindi mo ba gagastusin yun? And ito, I challenge this uh, mga leftists dyan sa House at sa Senate to come up with evidence to show that Niloy ni eh, Vice President yung pera na yan. And only then, I, I for one, who is a solid Duterte supporter, I for one, matatabangan ako kung kinurap ni Sarah yung pera, pero wala kayong ebidensya, just shut up. Uh, uh, ano kasi ang uh, mga kaliwa kasi secretary are hurting kasi last bastion na nila itong ACT mm. itong mga komunista sa education sector mm. yan lang kanilang last foothold because yun ang ano nila eh, oh. recruitment uh, yes. uh, grounds eh. oh. huh? so siyempre galit sila kasi nagamit ng husto yung intelligence fund or yung confidential fund not only purely intelligence I, I don't buy the idea na uh, you have to get it literally. Intelligence fund, uh, as as defined by law, can be used for programs to buy peace. Uh, ginagamit po yan, mga programa, to convince the the movement to, you know, surrender to government and, and join the, the, you know, uh, the free government, the uh, maybe the mainstream government, you, you, you join it and uh, uh, stop becoming a rebel. Yun po ang purpose yan. Mm -hmm. oh. At makikita natin dito sa rating na yun, e kung totoo pa na may kinalaman si Sarah ng intelligence fund at nilustay niya sa masama na expenditure, e bakit Mas mataas pa siya ng mataas kay BBM. Ito po yung rating ngayon ng... Ano. Tingnan natin, mm -hmm. analyze natin. Kasi si Bongbong, hindi nila inaakusa sa napakalaki niyang confidential fund na nilustay ni Bongbong. Hindi natin alam kung saan yan. Si Sarah, maliit lang sa percentage ni Bongbong. Pero tingnan mo yung result nila sa survey. Sa survey. Mm -hmm. oh, eh, ito. Tingnan natin. Post Asia Survey Ratings. Approval Ratings. Oh. Ferdinand Marcos, galing sa 80%. 65% na lang. And next uh, month, baka, baka 40% na lang yan. At the rate he is uh, managing this country. Si Sarah Duterte, 84%. He only, he only went down by 9%. Not because of the confidential fund. But he is being dragged by the management of Marcos sa kabulastugan ng gobyerno. Kasama si Sarah kasi sa gobyerno. So, siyempre, damay siya. O, oh, di ba? Oh, ano masasabi nyo, mga kabigan? 11% yan, di ba? Ilan ba kay ano? From 80... 84 to 73. Hmm. So, 11. 11%. 11%, 11%. Oh. Oh. Eh, kay Marcos? 15%, mataas. Oh, mataas, oh. Mataas, hmm. mataas. At saka, ang, uh, sa issue basis, hmm. ang uh, uh, priority nito si Bongbong Marcos ay nandun sa foreign <laughs> policy at saka doon sa pag-protect daw ng soberanyahan ng Pilipinas. Hmm. Pero sa survey, 7% lamang po, 7% lamang ang sumusuporta dito sa agenda na ito. Ang 74% ay nasa inflation, ang 46% ay nasa uh, uh, more jobs, ang uh, 27% creation of more employment. Ang, uh, In other words, uh, bagsak siya sa lahat yan. In other words, yan ang mean. Pero ito si Ritara Jing. Let's explain ah, first. Mm, kasi mm. you mentioned inflation. Okay. I inflation is prevalent all over, all over the Basta world. Basta yung inflation. Pero, mm. nagkaroon tayo ng mataas na inflation. Mm. Pero, yung ibang bansa, they weathered inflation. Pero tayo, hindi. Mm. Napektuhan lahat. lahat. Ha? Mm. Uh, price of gasoline, price of... Uh, uh, Lahat, commodities, uh, common Basic. commodities, kinakain ng tao. Hmm. It was uh, badly managed yung, in, yung pag, ano natin, pag hmm. take care ng inflation. 
So, it, it, it runs counter to good management. Mm-hmm. Kasi, paltos yung, yung kanyang economic team, paltos yung kanyang, uh, ano. So, yun ang, seven, yun ang ibig sabihin, 74% sinasabi na hindi nyo naayos yung inflation. Mm-hmm. Hindi nyo na counter yung inflation. Yung napakaraming problema. Napakaraming problema, unlike other countries sa Asian, na ano nila, they were we- uh, weathering that. Pero sa atin, kayo, apiktado lahat yung hmm. ano. Tapos, sinasabi pa niya, uh, nagpapakita ng kanyang recalcitrant and insensi- insensitivity na sa bigas lang daw ang cost ng inflation. Ha? At wala raw siyang pakialam dito sa survey. Hmm. Ha? In words, mga kabansa, wala silang pakialam. Happy-happy nga siya nung umabot ha? siya ng 80 eh. <laughs> ha? Honeymoon period eh. Parang he was in Nirvana. Eh. Pinag, pinag masyado nilang pinapublicize eh. Ha? Pero ngayong bagsak eh. Wala nang pakialam siya sa survey. Eh, next uh, next month or two months from now, pagka 40% na lang yung ano mo. Hmm. And that's possible ha. A, a, a certain president even went negative. Hmm. Huh? Mr. Bongbong Marcos. Ah. I mind, uh, mind you, Mr. Bongbong Marcos. Hmm. Bubulusok pa yan. Kaya nga po, Inday Sara, mahal po kayo namin na mga Duterte loyalists. Ay, uh, pakiusap po namin. Huh? Umalis na po kayo dyan sa gobyerno ni Marcos. Kayo lang naman ang nagpapabangon yan eh. Huh? You were the ones responsible for his victory. Ang ah, Madam Sara. Ah, kung hindi ka nag-join, baka matalo ni Lely Robredo yan or ni ah, Manny Pacquiao. Yan si Bongbong. Kung hindi po kayo sumali. Kasi mababa ang rating niya. Ikaw mataas. Pero nung sumali ka, nag-zoom yung kanyang rating at naguyo na niya yung buong hmm. Pilipino. Pero dito, Secretary Jean, oh. mo sabihin, dapat bumitaw na siya sa administration, pati magiging education secretary. Yes! So, Why? itong resulta ng survey oh. ay lumilitaw na parang hinatak si BP Sara. Yes, hinatak siya kasi pababa. wala uh-huh. namang ano eh. Wala, the the wala confidential issue fund is na an issue against hmm. inflation, uh, failure to uh, provide ano, Saka, uh, safe uh, 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 food security. Yung sa confidential ano na yan, na pondo, hindi kasama pa sa Serbia na itanong. Hindi pa rin kasama. Ngayon lang yan, oh. ng budget Kaya hearing. Kaya nga, Ma'am, Ma'am Sara, uh, if you are uh, hearing our program, hmm. you, you, you jump ship while uh, it's still sinking. Hmm. Because there's no return eh. Itong bulusok na, na ano, uh, downgrading hmm. of uh, survey rating ni Marcos, this will go down some more. Dahil wala naman siya nagagawa eh. Oh, eh, namimigay lang ng bigas. You think the entire country will benefit from that uh, propaganda by giving, ano? Walang kaiba niyan doon sa kanyang, ano, programa. Kadiwa. Ano, kadiwa. Hmm. Na ilan lang ang, ano, tapos pinailan pa ng kaso ng ombudsman yung, yung kanilang kalukuhan na tinaas yung presyo, pinagkitaan, tapos binenta ng uh, mas mataas pa rin ang presyo. Dito sa oh, survey sa nito, dito sa survey na ito, yung 5.6 na inflation, tumaas pa nung September to 6.1. So, lumala pa. Lumala pa. Imbes na solusyon. Kaya talaga, sa pool siya dito because Sapol. that is the pulse of the people hmm. na wala talaga ng tiwala sa kakayahan mo, Mr. Marcos. At saka walang nakikita na ginagawa mo, walang nakikita na Now, gagawin mo, to your, walang pag-asa. To your, to your good senses, uh, Madam Vice President, I appeal to your the people surrounding you. Uh, jump ship while you can because on your own you are very high. You are loved by the people. You will shine. You will shine by yourself without this government. Tingnan mo si Binay. If not for the issue of corruption itself against Binay. Will Binay first separated from the Arab uh, Uh, Arab gov- uh, Bobo. Uh, uh, Noy-noy. Noy-noy government Noy Noy government from Noy Noy Aquino government ba nag-zoom up yung rating yeah. ni ano until his corruption issues were raised by the Senate hmm. yun ang nakapababa pero when he left the Noy Noy administration Binay was uh, faring very well hmm. in fact he became the 
lead opposition leader. Now, Madam Sarah, the opposition now ang dami po na ayaw na dito kay Marcos. They need a rallying person to rally, to come up with an alternative, someone who will raise issues against this very corrupt and very incompetent government. Okay. That needs to be fiscalized. Yeah. Okay. Dito, Secretary, ito namang sa tatak Duterte forever. Yeah. Kay Senator Bongo. Ah, oo. Oh, eh, tingnan mo si Senator Bongo. Ha? Ala, allied with Duterte. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung kanyang ano. Goodwill. Good tuloy, tuloy pa rin yung kanyang goodwill. Basahin natin. Eh, maski... Alam mo, maski pinutulan, alam mo, <laughs> ah, victim din ng politika ito si Senator Bongo, maski pinutulan na ng, ng uh, access sa kanyang pondo sa DSWD dahil na politika siya. Pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang tulong niya. Ito, ah, nakilala ni si Senator Bongo ang 63 anyos na si Leonardo Reyes Jr., isa sa mga biktima ng sunog sa barangay Tejero, Cebu City. Pinagbalaki ni Tatay Leo na si Senator Bongo ang suot nitong Duterte Baller Restaurant na kanyang itinago noong pang 2015. Suot-suot pa rin niya. So talagang Walong Duterte. taon ang nakalipas ay patuloy pa rin ang pagsuporta niya kay Tito Digong. Nagpasalamat din ito kay Senator Bongo dahil sa natanggap nitong wheelchair mula sa Senador noong araw na iyon. Patuloy na itinaguyod ni Senator Kuya Bong ang tapang at tapang at malasakit na sinimulan ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte upang, upang ma-attend ang servisyong nararapat sa ating mga kababayan. Tama po yan. Mm -hmm. But, uh, kailangan ng rallying point ang mga, at daming mga bloggers na tumitira, nire-raise yung issue against this administration. But that will not amount to anything unless there is a rallying point. And kayo po, Inday Sara, eh, hindi pa ba ninyo natutunogan na ayaw na nilang kasama ka sa unity team? There is really no unity team in the first place. It was a team based on selfish and greed by the Marcos people. At itong pinalit nilang bagong Pilipinas, actually, bobong Pilipinas to. Alam mo, yun na pong masasabi ko po, uh, Madam Vice President. Uh, you okay. will be better off. Alam mo, marami naman dyan umalis din eh. Oh, uh, tinalaga. Si Ping Laksono ni ERA, umalis din naman sa kanyang administration. Si, you know, you don't need to be in the cabinet. Eh kung binabatikos ka lang at sooner or later, baka eh, itatrap ka dyan. Ah, dahil pinagtulungan ka na ng uh, tunay na presidente dyan sa Malacanang at saka yung mga kamag-anak at mm. mga alipores pinagkaisahan ka na ginagamit yung mga kaliwa mm. they can always use them because they need funds to, pro to, to sustain their, their insurgency mm. so syempre nagpagamit yan at ikaw ang tinitira but sooner or later kung ilang Binong, bin, ano ba yan? Uh, kinalkal na nila yung Gabao City. There's no reason that they will not uh, drug, uh, ano, drug you or trap you down sa death end. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, it will trap so, right, nila yeah. yan. Mm -hmm. And they will create more issues sa iyo. Pambala laban why, 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 why would you stay when you, when you don't need them? You are the highest official With the highest rating, ikaw po ang mamahal, minamahal ng Pilipino. Hmm. And ako, I am calling on all Duterte supporters, DDS, let's rally. Once the Vice President gets out of this government, let's rally. Let's make him believe that he is really, she is really the real President. Kasi dapat siya, kung tumakbo lang siya, siya dapat ang Presidente ngayon. Hmm. Uh, okay. Pinahiram lang niya yung kanyang uh, kakayahan dito sa presidente ngayon na bumulusok na. Ha? There's no returning back for you, Mr. Marcos. Once you are now 65, you will go to 40%. And I will not, na? I will not uh, 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 be lying to the public as far as that is concerned. 
Okay, so maraming salamat at hanggang sa susunod po na episode po ha, mm. ng Iparas kay Paras. Okay.